Good afternoon, Fantasy Bay. Mike Williams here with another Week 9 game preview. And today we're going to be going over the Bears versus the Eagles. Let's get it started. So the over-under for this game is 42.5, and, and the Eagles are favored by negative 5. All right, so Mr. Trubisky, I'm not starting him. You're not starting him. We're going to keep it moving. Allen Robinson is a good start, though. I have him as a wide receiver, too. I mean, what more can I say about the Philadelphia set, uh, Philadelphia secondary other than that? They're awful. They're god-awful. Every week, Mike Clay talks about how terrible they are. They're really bad. They're the worst secondary in the league. So fire up your Allen Robinson. Must play. I mean, hell. Taylor Gabriel might even get a little love. But I actually am looking more down at Anthony Miller. He's been... He's been increasing over the last four weeks. Fifty, well, last three weeks, they had a bye. 52 yards, 64 yards, 67 yards, seven targets, nine targets, three targets. I think that because the secondary of the Eagles is so bad and the run defense is so good, they'll be throwing it a little bit more. And I think that Anthony Miller should get some love and watch out for a touchdown. David Montgomery finally, finally, finally had a good game. Thanks, sweet Lord, baby Jesus. David Montgomery has been playing like absolute trash for the majority of the year. He had 24 fantasy points last game. Four receptions off of five targets. He had he only had 12 yards for those four receptions, so that's pretty garbage. But the run game, 27 rushes for 135 yards and a touchdown. I do not think that that continues. But if you're anywhere around 20 to 24, I think that David Montgomery would be a solid, solid play. That being said, the Eagles' defense is the truth. They're the fourth best run def fourth best defense against the run, only allowing... 14.4 fantasy points a game. So I'm not expecting huge things from David Montgomery, but I do think that he is a startable flex play low end wide low end running back too. Uh, Tariq Cohen is really hit or miss. I'm not really trying to play Tevin Coleman, to be honest with you. Or Tyreek, Tariq Cohen, not Tevin Coleman. Uh, Bears defense has not been playing as well as you'd like. They're ranked 8th on the year on fantasy points. Only have an 8.1, 7, 7, 5. That's the last three games that they've played. You can start them, obviously. They're the Bears defense, so they're good. But I'm not expecting them to absolutely dominate the Eagles. So I think that they have a meh game. Oh, man. Carson Wentz. Carson. My man. Last, last three games. Last four games. Meh. He had one good game, 24 fantasy points. Other than that, 15, 10, 13. That's pretty meh. Um, and I don't think that it really turns around too much right now. He's playing the Bears, and he goes on a bye. 20, the Bears are allowed the 27th most fantasy points to the quarterback. That would equate to somewhere around 7. They... They're the seventh against the quarterback. They allow the seventh fewest for the quarterback. They're very good against the quarterback. They are going to be all in Carson Wentz's face this week. They only allow 14.7 fantasy points to the quarterback, which very low. All right, let's get on to Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon Jeffrey is a fringe wide receiver too, more like a wide receiver flex play. Um, the Bears are... The Bears are third against the wide receiver, only allowing 17.2 to the position. There's a chance that Deshaun Jackson plays, which I'd be very, very, very pleased about because he'd help Carson Wentz and he'd help Alshon Jeffrey. He'd help this whole team because when you add somebody like Deshaun Jackson, the other team has to plan for him and they're worried that he's going to beat them over the top. So they have to play off a little bit. So I believe that if... If um, Deshaun Jackson plays, I think it's better for everybody in this game. I'm not playing Nelson Aguilar. 
Uh, Jordan Howard actually had himself a game last week. 17 fantasy points for uh, 23 rushes for 96 yards and a touchdown. That's very, very solid. Uh, I think that he is a high-end flex play. As well as Miles Sanders. I Same with him. High-end flex play. Um, 22 fantasy points last game. Three receptions for three targets on the ground. He only had three attempts, but he had 74 yards and a touchdown. I'm going to revert back to my previous statement. I wouldn't say high flex play. I'd say he's a, he's a middle flex play. Middling flex play. Zach Ertz, unfortunately, has not been playing well at all. Four points, five points, eight points, 16 points. Averaging 8.25 points a game. That's awful. Still ranks him. He's averaging 6.1 fantasy points over the year, which ranks him 10th against the tight end. So he's a top 10 tight end. But, man, he's playing pretty terrible. His backups get more love than he is. And the Bears are great against the tight end. They're the third they're third against the tight end, only giving up 17.2 fantasy points a game, which seems coincidental. Actually, scratch that last stat, but they are good against the tight end. I will say that. Uh, and, you know, I actually like the Eagles defense against the Bears. The Eagles defense is pretty solid. 15 fantasy points last game. They're going against the Bears, who haven't been playing very well. Their offense seems to be fluttering, and their defense has been dinged up, so they haven't been as lethal as they have as they have been the rest of the season. So I think that the Eagles actually a very good play. I have them as a top 10 defense this week, for sure. And that's going to wrap it up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mike Williams, Fantasy Bay. I'm out.